We're at a classical school, so we are always on the lookout for truth and beauty. And so art is really important for us, art and music, both. And of course, everything relates to our faith. So to have an, a contest that gave us the opportunity to depict our faith was just perfect for us. First heard about the contest from Contra Muth, and she gave us a paper of what it was supposed to be. It was only Jesus, no other name. Then I thought well, I should have Jesus' name incorporated in my art because that's the name we're, we're going for. The first thought that came to my head were the bubble letters. And I was also thinking sunrise or sunset because I really like those colors. Well, I was inspired by Revelation 1-8 where Jesus talks about being Alpha and Omega. Just the first time I heard it, I'd always just really like that verse. And, I mean, they're such pretty symbols. So I decided to do something cross-stitching that had Alpha and Omega in it. So my grandma found this pattern. She gave me the thread and I cross-stitched it. Of course, when I think of Jesus, I think of him dying on the cross for us. And so I decided I wanted to have a cross. But I wanted to do, you know, something that was unique to other people. I have gold and white for Christmas and Easter. And then I have the biggest piece made out of green for Trinity. And then Advent and Lent are in the purple and the blue. And then Pentecost and Saints' Days are in red. The first thing I think of Jesus dying on the cross for us is the three crosses and Jesus dying like on a sunset. I did a lot of blending in colors, like right here. I really like doing mixing in colors, like I think you call it ombre. My artwork is the Alpha and Omega. What inspired me to do it was that I liked the look on the altar and I wanted to put it up in my room so that when I woke up then I could see it every morning. I used glass. My grandma is really good at glass. Uh, she helped me get the right pieces, find the right colors, and put it together. When Kanto told us about this contest, she put out a bunch of pieces. I saw this one mosaic, and it was a stained glass window in a church. So I painted a piece of watercolor paper black for like the black in between the panes and I made a red cross. I thought the red would be kind of like Jesus' blood. When I heard that it had to be Jesus, no other name, then the first thing that came to my head was the cross. I put this up here for the sign that was there and this as, the, as God watches over him. And I'm always impressed with our students' art. We have very artistic students and all the music and just academic excellence. Really, they do a very, very good job here.